this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about how to dispute data furnishers. Now, data furnishers is just another name for smaller or lesser known credit reporting agencies, such as Inovis, Clarity, LexisNexis. Now, Inovis is actually a very big company. It's almost as big as the big three, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. And LexisNexis is creeping right behind. LexisNexis actually just bought out SageStream. These companies are becoming the very big data furnishers. And that's exactly why we call them data furnishers, because they furnish data about you and they report it up to the big three credit reporting agencies, such as Experian and Equifax. Okay. It's important to actually place a security freeze on these data furnishers so that they aren't able to share that information with the big three credit reporting agencies. Therefore, increasing the odds of you getting negative items removed from your credit report because the credit reporting agencies, a lot of times they just verify that information with these lesser known credit reporting agencies and then market items is verified. Okay. So you want to free place a security freeze on the credit reporting agencies. Now notice there's different types. You have supplementary reports, you have low income and subprime data furnishers. And basically what that is like those check cashing places, right? If you ever go bad with check cashing, and you fail to pay the loan back, all right? Tenant screening. They have data furnishers that report your payment information on how you paid on your rent. Did you ever have any, ever got kicked out of a home or apartment? You have NCTUE. Now that's telecom companies like T-Mobile, Sprint, things such as that. Anyways, let's jump into creating the security freeze disputes. Now you can select up to 10 accounts, okay? System will allow you to select up to 10. There's nine, let's do check system. And then if I try to select more, it's going to fight, throw an error. Cool. So now I'm going to go to, the, now that I selected the filter, I'm going to go to the disputes and I'm going to go under data furnishers tab right here, data furniture. I'm going to click create letter. Notice all 10 will show up on oh, all 10 of them, right? Information there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and create, just click create letter. All 10 are created. Look at that. Let's head over to the dispute center and we see all 10 of those letters. Now let's go ahead and select all of them. Let's go to more actions. Send them all certified mail. Actually, send them first class mail. There they are right there. All 10. You can mail them out or you can download all 10 of them, right? By clicking this or zipping them up. So that's how you create the security freeze letters. And that's a little bit about disputing with data furniture.